I'm under the car again. If you can see here, yeah, there it is. This is one of the holes. This is a shroud. And that um, stud is off by at least a half an inch. Uh, yeah, same thing here. Oh, and here's my, uh, let's double check this thing, make sure that we're gonna be okay. Well, when this shroud falls into place, I think we're gonna be okay. Let me move a couple of things and see um, what kind of uh, progress I make here. Well, come to find out, <laughs> I'm gonna have to remove the shroud again and flip that, um, that uh, hose clamp because it is not the ideal position actually when things start falling into place the way that I had it the first time was the right the right way so I'm going to reconnect this bungee cord pull this forward again and uh, repeat the process but I think I've, I'm getting closer to um, getting this installed properly. I am back. So I decided to spare you all the agony of getting this thing out and uh, actually it wasn't that bad. I reinstalled this uh, budgie cord, pulled the thing forward and uh, popped the thing out of there, unhooked the the hose, flip the the clamp around, reconnect it. I mean, it's just like when this thing is out of the way, it's a piece of it's a piece of cake, banana nut cake. But anyways, what I'm I I already kind of positioned this down at the uh, with the two studs at the bottom at each end. And next, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the, the, the paper from the bottom, just like I have it up here, just so I have a little more, um, so I'm ready to, um, if I decide to start removing the, uh, the shielding that I made for the radiator. So, everything is looking good. And today is garbage day. So anyway, let me keep, uh, keep working and uh, I'll let you know what happens. Okay. Let me see if I can gently remove this thing. Okay. Of course, that neck over there is not being very operative. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and commit to this. And hope. 
hope that it's it's gonna be okay. Ta-da! So let's see about this thing here. seems to be a little more difficult because it is trapped by the shroud which I may have to unhook from the um, from the bottom again I don't really want to do that caught I think at the bottom with the uh Gee, thank you woke everybody up with that one This gives me a little room to uh, to install the new uh, seals for the top portion here, which is great. I really like it in in black. It kind of just blends into the into the whole thing. Uh, the, the the silver would have been just too much, but I do like the the tanks, kind of like polished, and I can maintain those. So that is good. Plenty of room here to. Um, Connect this other hose. I'm not going to do that just yet. So, wow. I cannot believe this. I'm sorry, I know it's a lot of rambling, but I have to do a lot of thinking uh, along the, um, the way here. And again, you know, you can always fast forward or hit stop. But um, for those of you who are really looking into doing this, this is totally, totally doable. Again, removing the more stuff you take out of there, the, the, the more room you're going to have. You saw what I, what I did here. I'm not saying that it's the right thing, but it worked uh, very well for me. With those uh, actuator cans, it, again, it's impossible. I mean, I shouldn't say that, but, uh, you know, you're going to damage the veins, the radiator, and you don't want to do that. So anyway, let me shut up and uh, let's keep doing whatever else I have to do here. As you can see, I temporarily reinstalled the snorkel. I think I have it where it needs to be. And the reason being is I wanted to measure the dimensions of the uh, of the new seals that I'm going to be installing there. Both sides. Yeah. One is shorter than the other, but still, I, I needed to have this in place. Okay, so this one, the driver's side.
find it. Right at eight and a half inches. Seven, seven and three quarters. I'll make it eight, eight and eight and a half. And of course, I still have to um, test fit the the upper brackets. Make sure that everything kind of lines up properly. I think it will. I installed the um, one of the brackets, and I was going to um, cut these seals, but I just realized because there's a little bit of a, I'm talking about a quarter inch, half an inch tops difference as far as the size of the of the uh, Champion radiator. This is pretty much pushed all the way in and tightened, but then, I mean, it's not horrible. There's too much of a gap in there. So I am thinking I'm going to order another piece of insulation. But this time I'm going to go with either an inch and a quarter or even all the way up to an inch and a half. And that should give me, I think, a good seal between all these areas. And it'll be just a few days for, for me to get that um, that foam. I don't want to start you know, taping one thing on top of the other. It never looks right. And I just want this to be as tight as possible to make sure that all that air goes through in the right, in the right place. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do probably an inch. I think an inch and a quarter would be enough, except for this little corner. I'll just get a couple sizes. So for about 20 bucks, I can have plenty of that stuff. And, uh, and again, just have peace of mind. Another thing that I notice is, and this is, again, it's not 100% in place. Pretty close, though. But I do have this opening here now running through, which is, not a big deal. However, I can install another seal up at the very top. And I think that would be very, very good. So just to keep this really snug in place, I don't know if it's gonna be an issue when removing it or reinstalling it. But again, you know, you want to see all these these things to the best of your ability. So, just a few more days to um, to play with this and get it get it really really sealed properly. Actually, I'm gonna get uh, order also a piece of um, one by half an inch in case I want it to, um, to be flush with the, um, with the bracket and maybe not so tight in there. So, yeah, maybe I'll do that. And I'm under the car again. But this time, it's all good. I just, for focus yeah I tighten I position and tighten the uh, the new clamp and let me tell you the thing is there it's turned out pretty pretty good and I certainly hope there's there are not gonna be any any leaks we don't want those 
but yeah, this this was a lot easier doing it this way instead of um, with things already in place. So not the greatest video, but uh, I think it shows what I'm doing. Quick tutorial here. I was trying to uh, loosen this loosen this bolt here. One of these anyway, that one. And of course, I'm just kind of starting to brush a little bit. It's a half inch, so I, I just got a regular uh, regular wrench. Then everything got away from me, and I ended up with a little chip there. So, don't do that. Well, guys, the radiator is in for good. Oh, it looks beautiful. I really, I'm still analyzing this thing. I think I'm gonna go to Ace and get um, some kind of weather stripping or something about an inch by half inch or something. And I'm gonna attach it to this portion, this one, and then install this one here and that should, once it's all clamped together with the uh, with the piece that goes here, should be okay. And hopefully that uh, fan won't rub anymore. But anyway, making ex excellent progress here. So stay tuned. I wanted to show you guys under the car. What I did is I, um, and I know it's going to be hard to film, but anyway, everything is attached properly. As you can see, got my rad hose all nice and tight. Anyway, what I was going to mention is I found some, you know, like gaping holes and I added some, some foam here. I also, believe it or not, was able to reuse the old uh, bottom piece that I, I saved. Had a had a little bit of a, of a plug at the end here. But this is in addition to the one that's in there because there was too much of a, of a hole. And uh, this thing is, for the most part down here, it's really airtight. So that's good. I also was able to um, jam this additional weather stripping that I had and it's all the way in here because there used to be a pretty big gap in there. So that is gone. So anyway, again, that is the little trimming I did, beautiful. And Everything got connected properly. I had to loosen the side bolts in order for this to kind of fit, you know, to move in that direction. And, uh, but everything kind of fit right. So I am overall very, very pleased with uh, how this has um, turned out so far. I just hope that this is gonna really be a good seal for that. Um, that hose I'm always paranoid about stuff like that but anyway should be so anyway oh that's it for now as far as under the the vet and I just have to finish the seals up here and and then reinstall the ones at the very top. So all in all, looking really, really, really good. And I love my new uh, aluminum radiator. Hopefully that'll be run at the ideal temperature and help dissipate any additional heat, so. 
Alrighty, enough rambling. Thank you for following and, uh, and watching, and uh, I will catch you guys later.